Guys, what's the crack? Big come with Dinny. It's Dinny here. Just sitting in the car, ready to go out, waiting on my wife. I'm sure some of you understand. <laughs> uh, heading over to Donna Bay. They are turning on the town Christmas lights. Going to see the folks. Got to help them out with something. But uh, looking forward to seeing the folks. And uh, then heading out for a nice bit of food. Uh, my wife just finished her five day fast today, this morning. I finished mine yesterday. So we got a restaurant meal booked. We're going to get a nice bit of grub and uh, enjoy a nice Saturday evening. Then I'm going to a motorbike night. Um, a friend of mine, 2023 Irish Superbike Champion. 2024 Italian Stock Superbike Champion. Uh, Thomas O'Grady is having an appreciation night for all the supporters. So uh, we're going to head out to that. Looking forward to that. Meeting a load of motorbike people and talking motorbikes. Talking about motorbikes and talking about Bitcoin are the only two things I'm interested in talking about. <laughs> That's why I'm not a very interesting person. Because uh, when I meet people and they're not into motorbikes or they're not into Bitcoin or surfing, I sort of don't really want to talk to them. <laughs> so I'm terrible at parties. But uh, I'm good at when I meet people in Bitcoin settings <laughs> and teaching them about Bitcoin. So just checking in with you, saying hello. I hope you're enjoying the little market pump. But just for those who are new, everyone thinks they're late to Bitcoin. I'll just drop a little dinny bomb. Dinny bombs are just little my wisdom bombs from being in the space for a while. And people get value out of them. And uh, if you like them, hit the like button because that supports the algorithm and pushes it out to more people or share the content. I think that stuff is awesome. We appreciate it. We're trying to get the Bitcoin message out. We're trying to orange pill the world. And that just means teach people, um, teach people about Bitcoin and uh, and how it works. But every market cycle, people think they're too late. And the reason why people will do themselves out of their future is because they think they miss Bitcoin. I have no problem buying. If I had 38 grand sitting in a bank today, I'd buy Bitcoin straight away. Even though I, I could have bought it at 15 grand at the start of the year. Okay? Or I could have got it at 10 grand if I bought Bitcoin a few years ago. Wouldn't bother me. One iota. If I had the capital sitting in the bank, okay, now, if I had to only 38 grand, I mightn't put 100% into a Bitcoin. I might need to, I, me personally, I manage my finances a little bit different. Uh, if you're part of our retiree club, you'll understand that we have wealth buckets. You know, so we've got our security bucket and we've got our digital asset investing bucket and we have our traditional bucket. And then we have maybe a property bucket and you implement it into all of them depending on your conviction and your understanding and your risk tolerance. But uh, if I had 100 grand sitting in the bank and I was like, I'd own zero Bitcoin, I'd have no problem buying a Bitcoin today for its current market price. Absolutely no problem whatsoever. And I'm going to give you another little big dinny bomb. So people fear buying Bitcoin because they think they missed out. That's the first thing, all right? What you should focus on, instead of the price of Bitcoin, this is where we all go wrong, we focus on the price. If you focus on the adoption, okay? Because Bitcoin's price is... Okay, where Bitcoin's price is found is on its demand. All right, that's where the Bitcoin price comes from, on the demand for Bitcoin versus the supply. What do we know for a fact? We know that the supply goes down every four years. It's cut in by 50%, cut in half. So the supply is going down exponentially for the rest of your life and mine. The demand. Okay, so instead of focusing on, I could have, would have, should have, could have bought it at 10 grand, could have bought it at 1,000, could have bought it at 100. None of that stuff matters. What percentage of the world is using Bitcoin at the moment? Are we 99%? Because then I might be wary about buying a Bitcoin for 38 grand. Are we 50% of the world using Bitcoin? All the institutions have it. All the pension funds have it. No. We're absolutely nowhere near there. And this is why people who aren't financially trained to analyze, especially Bitcoin, and even people who are financially trained, if they haven't studied Bitcoin, they haven't studied macro, they're pricing Bitcoin and all the old metrics that don't work in this system. You need to focus on how much adoption has happened and how much adoption is ahead of this thing. Because that's where the price comes from, people. The price comes from how many people are going to want to use Bitcoin. And if we're only 5% adopted today and we've 95% to go, well, that means that a 38,000 euro Bitcoin or dollar Bitcoin today, there's more ahead of it than there was behind it. Because we're only 5% into the adoption cycle into the adoption phase. And it comes in waves and boom and busts and you know, new people think they should trade and buy here and sell here. I can explain to some, anybody, because I've done it with literally hundreds of clients over the last couple of years, last four years. I can explain to you in 90 minutes how Bitcoin works, why you need to own it, how to manage your risk, 
where to buy it, how to store, everything. How to use it to, so it's not difficult. I'm not saying you should book in and do a consultation with me. Don't do it because I've a feckin' heap of them to get through that I won't even get through this side of Christmas. We had a Black Friday sale there. You've probably seen it, okay? So do not book in for a consultation because I've way too much work and you guys know I don't really like to work too much. I like being semi-retired, I work for fun, but I don't like, it reminds me of when I used to have a proper job and when you had stress and you're like, Jesus, we've all this to do, I hate that. So do not book in. But my point in saying that is, and having a bit of humor with you, is this isn't difficult. If you're only first getting exposed to Bitcoin, and hopefully you'll share this with people who are, don't understand it, if you're only first getting exposed to Bitcoin, it's not hard. You are taught that it's difficult. That's because the people who are teaching you about Bitcoin are banks, okay? And Bitcoin defeats the purpose of a bank. So of course they're gonna feed you with misinformation and tell you that it's too difficult and you can't understand it. You know, you, 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 you little simple person, you can't understand money. You need to give all the money to us. We'll look after the money. That's what the banks say, okay? But Bitcoin is so simple. What I do want you to do is, okay, I want you to buy a Bitcoin book for Christmas. I suggest everything divided by 21 million or why Bitcoin is a really short book. Uh, it's a great one to start with, nice and simple, not too difficult. I used to recommend Bitcoin Standard, but it's a terrible book for people's first Bitcoin books. It's too complex. It took me three times to read it, and I was really into Bitcoin already. So for beginners, gift your friends, gift your family with why Bitcoin or everything divided by 21 million. Um, because once you have all the information, you'll realize that it's riskier to not own Bitcoin, to sit on the sidelines. It's riskier to buy shit coins and, and gamble. Like, if you're going to gamble, go to the bookies, all right? But if you haven't got your Bitcoin pension plan, this is what I said to him, one of my clients we were building a portfolio there during the week. He was like, um, what about the altcoins? Do you need? Do you own any? And I was like, yeah, of course I do. I'd be fully transparent with all my clients. Told exactly what I owned, how much of it and everything. And, uh, and he says, okay, should I do that? I was like, absolutely not. You shouldn't touch it. Until you have your Bitcoin allocation, it's just, it doesn't make sense on a risk basis to touch anything else. You need to deploy your capital until you get your Bitcoin pension sorted. Forget everything else. Okay, once you have that, you have the minimum plan sorted, go to the bookies, go gambling, buy a lot of tickets, I don't give a shit. But until you get your Bitcoin strategy in place, it just doesn't make sense to buy shit coins. Now there will be a group of new people here who don't know the difference between Bitcoin and crypto. What I say to you is study Bitcoin. Study it long enough, okay? Read at least one or two or three books or take a course. We do a course. <laughs> Full disclosure. <laughs> we do a course. We can teach you everything you need to know. It's called the Retire Early Club. It does exactly what it teaches says on the tin, it teaches you everything you need to retire early, okay, you won't get this anywhere else, this isn't buy sell bullshit, it's not trading crypto stop losses, that's all poor people talk, there ain't nobody retired early doing that stuff, okay, you find me a billionaire's book where he starts talking about trading you won't, okay, find a multi-millionaire who traded, they make money from selling you traded, trading courses I've a little, you know, it annoys me because every cycle, it's, it's a shiny object and um, it's a uh, it lures people in, but ultimately, the people selling the course get rich and the other people just lose all their money because no one makes money trading. The best investors in their space, if you listen to them, okay, if you actually read their books or you follow their Twitters or their exes or you listen to them speak when they're being interviewed, they'll tell you not to trade it. They'll tell you it's the opportunity of your life. These are multimillionaires and billionaires. A lot of them are ex-bankers, okay, and they're telling you this is the opportunity of your lifetime. And they'll, <laughs> and one of them will say, "Don't fuck it up." And it's it's so simple, okay. So my point is, this isn't difficult. I can explain it to anybody who has zero knowledge in ninety minutes. Ninety minutes, start to finish. All right. You get yourself a Bitcoin book, get reading, figure it out. Come back to me, consume the content here. Go back and watch my other videos. Explain absolutely everything if you watch them all. Okay, but this isn't simple. This is, this is simple. <laughs> this isn't difficult. I'm still waiting on my wife. <laughs> How long is this video going? When I started the video, I said, I'm just sitting in the car waiting on my wife. We're going out. Still waiting. Um, but guys, this isn't super difficult. Okay. Remember, if you focus on how much Bitcoin has been adopted by the world, how much the world is going to adopt it, the price comes from that. All right. Have a super day. Please hit the like button. Daily exercise. Give a nice little press. Then you out. And I've got a last little ta tagline. Bitcoin for your wealth, fasting for your health. Everything you've been told about both are likely bullshit. Then you out.